Well, welcome back to my canvas. This is a brand new start. Gloves on. So, I have not exactly tried what I'm trying to do right now. I've tried it before the way I'm hoping to do it at the moment. The point is I'm going to make the canvas really, really wet. And I will use another tool. And I'd like to try to make some lovely swirls, colorful swirls, more like floating in the middle of the canvas or space in the middle. This is just what I'm imagining and see what happens when it actually gets done. Some of you who were here yeah, uh, last time, you know I'm using a material called Flow at Roll. I don't have the label on this, but this particular thing, what it does, it allows the acrylic time to dry so it takes longer. I haven't got a label on this. Yes, but what I'm saying, this one doesn't have the label, so I can't show you at the moment, but just let me do... Ah, oh, here it is. So we're gonna make the canvas really, really smooth for the paint to run on. So this um, liquid looks white, but it dries clear, so it doesn't affect the colors. Okay. And on top of this, we're gonna So it's like literally wet, very wet. And what I'm looking forward to is the paint to really glide. All right, definitely. Picking some colors as we go. Possibly. Well, I start with some of these. But this is just white. And then comes the colors. Oops. This is a beautiful dark aqua. liking what's happening maybe this can move just a little more and see if I can share that 
yellow yes thinking about the colors yellow might be a little too strong so I'm just gonna look for something this will work nicely hopefully Everybody's very quiet. <laughs> I'm going to use a smaller tool. cleaning up my tool but I'm um, looking for trying to find some a third color that I can introduce to the game possibly we will try purple But I already like what the watery canvas starting to create alone. Oh, wrong. Magenta. To turn this way. Not be as fresh. Yes, I am. I love what the, uh, the water allows the dark blue to just kind of wash over that way. This might be a little, I might just give this a bit of spray, see what it does. And let it float and to try to join the colors a little together more. Try to get rid of everything that is a little too square. So I want this to stay around. More water there. So this is going to be a very wet work, which means it will have to dry <laughs> for a while. Now the edging there is a little strange. I'm gonna move and keep it like that, maybe. Possibly. 
possibly this is a bit too much at this corner So I like the idea of it being very fresh, lots of white. So far. Maybe just adding a little warm into that angle, which should be maybe even red. Just a little bit of red. I'm just trying to bring something a little contrasting to these colors. I've got to add some red to see how that works out. Yep, I like that. And let it just melt into the wet surface. And um, Obviously, there's a lot of thinking going on inside my head. It's very difficult to vocalize. I'm so sorry if I do qu go quiet a little bit. Just want to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. So, but you're welcome to comment. Do you like the colors? Do you think it's a little, it's obviously much more freedom in this particular vet work. Um, Water it a little over there. Mm. So I wanted it to run into the other colors, the red itself, at some, not all everywhere, but in some places. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> colors are nice. Says me, it's colorblind. <laughs> ah, first wet work you've ever seen. Oh, I hope you enjoy it, Major Hayes. Um, there's so much going on in my head, and I'm so sorry if I go quiet. I don't want to, but it is. It's just um, a matter of practicing more and more how to stay um, connected at the same time as I'm working. I've been being told that I should be talking, I should be talking. So I am attempting to carry on. Okay, so, because it's really, really, really wet. Can I please have the top view just to see? Yes, you probably have the light in the way. I can just see the reflection, but... Some light I can smudge. Just to control the shapes. I'm trying to add a little bit of white, perhaps at the top. 
give it a bit more definition. As long as you don't get dizzy while I'm doing this. Okay. So. Maybe even go in there. This type of creating actually really pulls um, pulls on your fears and pushes you into being more brave. I kind of like that. Not that it's always pleasant while it's happening. But that's where it's so true and can't that the process of creating is just as important as the actual end result for an artist because there's a lot happening on the inside while um, trying to grab what's happening on the canvas and make something really meaningful, add something really meaningful to the colors <laughs> so that they really talk. Okay, so I'm loving the freshness of it. I really don't want to saturate it too much with a lot of other colors. Possibly just bring something in here. But this is where I usually by myself I just let it dry and let it cook <laughs> keep calm and paint on thank you so much Major Hayes <laughs> yeah it can freak me out especially these guys that you can't see um, keep telling me to talk but it is difficult it's it's a it's another thing to develop to actually stay vocal while your mind is running 100 miles an hour and i really want to be able to produce something that you all enjoy watching There are so many beautiful details the camera won't be able to pick up, I believe, because it's too far. And that's where you think, oh, I really want to preserve that. But whether it will be possible is another story. Because again, this um, will have to possibly dry. Taringa Tour. Oh, thank you so much for um, following me, Taringa Tour. Welcome to my stream. Really kind of you to call in. I uh, hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Um, this is my second work for the day because the first one <laughs> is drying. And um, I am balancing the talk and the creating process at the same time. So. Bear with me if I'm a little bit quiet. OK. 
Okay. Um, I do like the colors. I do like how the, the water allows the colors to float together. It's almost at a stage where I think, oh, do I want to touch it before it dries? Because if I do now, I will lose a lot of lovely things that I like. Okay. I'm going to have to put myself back into thinking mode a little bit more. I'm so sorry. Can I please see the top view? a bit too much I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of this off because it's a little too much Freedom costs, that's what I know. So when you want to preserve a work, preserve the feeling of freedom in it, um, not to leave a lot of mark of your struggle through it, that's what I like. But it does take time. Okay. Possibly get rid of this here. So I'm washing the tools so I can get back to using them again. And I really just want this to dry. And that's almost done. So what do I do? Bring up my really bright, colorful, crazy one. <laughs> that I can muck around with. Okay, so I'm just pondering on what to do next because I really want this to dry before I carry on. I've got one more work that I started early, early on. It's incredibly colorful and messy. So I'm gonna. I'm thinking about bringing that one out and work on that a little bit with you, so you can, I guess, uh, see some more action. <laughs> <laughs> 